Hello everyone, in this video we will see how we can integrate Salesforce with the Google's Gemini model. So we are back with another practical video where we will we'll going to see the real life scenario of Salesforce integration. So let's start. Firstly like what is Google's Gemini model? So Google's Gemini is basically a LLM that is the large language model that is still under development. It's designed to be more advanced and versatile AI system uh, like its predecessors uh, BART and other. So in simple terms we can say that Gemini is Google's chat GPT. So just like chat GPT which is a LLM based on the generative AI that generates response based on the prompt. Uh, the similar is Google's Gemini model. So let's not waste any time and let's uh, deep dive into the demo. I'm in my uh, Salesforce org and I created this app and uh, this page that is the Gemini API integration. So here we have enter the question for Gemini. This is basically the prompt that you will give to Gemini. So let me give that, so let me give a prompt which is who is uh, Mark Benioff and get the answer. Awesome, I got the response. It says that Mark Benioff is a prominent figure in the world of technology and it's the CEO and chairman of Salesforce, which is the leading CRM company. So uh, whatever prompt it uh, will give uh, to Gemini will get a response similar to chat GPT. So uh, let me go to the Gemini docs and let's see it's uh, back end development. So, so you can see that I am in the Google documentation and the URL is ai.google.dev. Uh, if I open Google Ge uh, Gemini's AI quick start, I can see that I firstly need a API key. So to get the API key, just click here on here, get the API key from Google AI studio you to this link and here when you'll click on create API key. So you will get your API key that you need to pass in your URL, something like this. Awesome. So let, let us go uh, to the documentation. So here uh, we have a documentation that we need to generate text using Gemini API. So you need to select rest here because we are going from Salesforce. So we'll make a rest API call to the Gemini model. So, um, okay. So here is our request body. So it says that your request body should have, should contain, uh, object contents. The content should be an array of object. Uh, and in that array of object, you should have parts, which itself is a array of object within it. You will have your actual prompt. That is the text given to the Gemini model. So, uh, in here, the Gemini will return a response or about this prompt, which is write a story about magic backpack. Similarly, you can see that, uh, we can also give it an text and image input and others. We have other documentations uh, links as well where we can explore the vision cap uh, capabilities of Gemini API. We can explore the audio capabilities as well. So you, I will share the link. You can go through these documentations and, um, and integrate necessary things with Salesforce. So let's not waste any time. Let us go to the Apex class. So I have created this Apex class Gemini callouts. And in this Apex class, um, I have created the static variable that is API key. And in the static uh, initializer, I am uh, using a custom setting from where I'm fetching this API key so that it is not exposed in the code. Then I have created a aura enabled method that is make post request. And this uh, will make a post request. And uh, you know how we make a post request in a from Apex. We initialize the HTTP object. Then we uh, initialize the HTTP request object. Then we set the endpoint. So for the endpoint, what I used is I used the name credentials. So let me quickly go to my org and uh, show you the name credentials. So, okay. So this is the name credentials I created. So before creating a name credential, you need to create an external credential. So let me click on external credentials and it will redirect me to the external credentials screen. So here I have chosen the protocol as no authentication. Then what I did is like I uh, created a principle, uh, the principle, the param uh, here, the parameter name is admin. Uh, because since this is a no authentication uh, external credentials, so what I just uh, use the principle so that I'm able to give the permission 
to access this external credential. Now, if I go to the name credential, in the name credential, I provided the URL that we need to make call out to. And this uh, checkbox is checked. That is the generate authorization headers. So after that, you just need to go to your profile or permission set and provide access to this external credential. So now let me go back to my org and uh, let us go through the code, the remaining part of the code. So we have set the method here as post, we have set the headers and then we have set the requ request body. So what this request does it, it returns a string and this code basically generates the request body that we saw in the documentation. So let me go back and let me go to my postman screen. So basically we are creating a request body of this type. As I told you, like we have to create an object which contains a key as contents. The contents key would be an array of objects. Within that object, we will have a parts key and the parts key is uh, similarly a array of objects and within it we will have our actual prompt that is the text. You can see that I have given here who is the Prime Minister of India and if I scroll up it returns me the response and what we are doing is uh, we are making a call using http.send and then we are returning the response. So now let me go to my LWC and let me show you what is happening here. So we uh, firstly in the HTML, so we have this lightning card within it. We have a lightning text area, which is like enter your question for Gemini. Then we have a button here. Uh, the button uh, on click calls the handle click method. So let us go to the handle click method. So basically this is a async method. That means it will, it will make a network request. Now uh, I have uh, initialized this, I have uh, defined this method that is the make post request Gemini. This is the apex method that we just saw. Here we are giving it, it the input as input from user which will uh, send to the Google's API to get the response back. After we get the response back, we are um, making this this dot response present as true and then we are uh, calling this handle response of Gemini and uh, in the set timeout we are setting the value of the response uh, in the text area like whatever response we got so I, I we, you to access the response we have to uh, go to uh, go to we have to fetch the text from candidate content and parts so that is what I'm doing and then in this lightning text area we are initializing our result so uh, and we have the xml file as well where uh, this we have set the target as lightning app page and with this demo and hope you learned something new here hope, hope you were able to revise your integration related concepts and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future thanks everyone